I'm Ginger Reagan. Um, I own Reagan Equine in Wilmington, North Carolina. We have a three veterinarian practice, ambulatory, and um, a 20 stall hospital. My name is Dr. Mary Gokenauer. I'm from Statesville, North Carolina. Tryon Equine Mobile is the practice. So we use it pretty much to determine the difference between um, infection and inflammation. Um, a horse comes in, not doing right, we want to see if it's got an infection, an underlying infection. Um, like use bacterial it, infection? Uh, yes, yeah. yes. And we definitely use it you know, out in the field quite a bit because it gives us real-time answers of if we have infection or inflammation. Yeah. Um, and it also gives us a numerical value you know, that we can follow and see if they respond to treatment. How about you? Yeah, pretty much the same. Um, I like to use it a lot for febrile horses just to monitor kind of how the response is to um, to treatment, it's just really helpful, and honestly, the clients really like having you know, some like you're doing something yeah. right there that they can see, and they don't have to wait for the CBC to come back and you know for you to drive back to the clinic or whatever. And it's funny sure. when when the horses in the hospital they'll ask, well, what was his SAA today? Because <laughs> you know they know you they start off with that. it, you know. That's it's, right. We've also like I know you've had cases and I've had cases where we've sent them back and forth like if they're yeah. going to a horse show and it horse. gives a numerical value of you know hey the horse is better the horse is not better yep. um, you know it continuing to deteriorate or Absolutely. do better and gives us a starting point. We can point. make choices about yeah. the about the treatment protocol. Yeah, I've also found it useful when a horse ships into a horse show you know and just to see where they're at you know kind of seems to be a little bit more indicative than, you know, your CBC and also we're at a horse show, it's not yes, easy to run a CBC, a CBC on run. the ground, so it gives me a little starting place. For sure. It's pretty awesome because the SA is in real time what's going on in that horse's body. So if we have, a, um, we had started having s sequential um, SAA tests and you see it increasing that's obviously not positive yeah <laughs> so um, I I feel like I can make more um, direct changes in antimicrobials or um, in treatment modalities you know to try to help the animal in a more efficient way yeah um, and more uh, completely We've used it at horse shows when we have, you know, a fever that's going around or, you know, there's different barns that have different issues going on and they ship horses in. We'll go through and, you know, pull blood on all the horses in the barn in one particular barn or one horse, one barn that's affected um, and run SAAs on them and we can catch it quicker so do to you treat take, them. Like if you have one, like a group, say 15 horses shipping mm -hmm. in from Vermont mm -hmm. to a, a show, and one horse has a fever, do you pull SAs on the majority of them? Sometimes, if I think it's lot? infectious, absolutely. Yeah. I also do it like when they're shipping to a major horse show and it's super intense and um, you know they need to be at the best of their game and they've shipped. Even if they're not sick. Even if they're not sick. Yeah. Lots of trainers cool. will have us do it if they're you know shipping in and there's 20 horses and they're gonna be showing you know at a major sh horse show. Um, we wanna make sure that everybody's well and you know not brewing a pneumonia after so it shipping gives you a long heads distance. Up. Yep. Gives you a heads up for disease. Yeah, we've also used it when um, we have like an outbreak of, you know, whatever in a barn and different horses are spiking fevers mm -hmm. and we'll go through and just test everybody so that we know, you know, how to isolate everybody, who to, you know, separate um, and who to we monitor temperatures on all of them.